today we are going to change the hard drive in one of these MSI notebooks. So the first step is to make sure it's off and then remove the battery. Then after the battery is removed, there are screws all the way around the edge. So we will then remove all these screws. And there's one under the warranty sticker right here. So as soon as you puncture that, your warranty is gone. Keep working around. There's one here, 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 and here, which I've already taken some out. And then there's two in the middle here and here. Once you have all the screws out, I like to start on this side with the USB ports because you have to work it over all these. So pull up here, work your way over, and slide it off the back. Now the next step is removing the wireless card. So under this little piece of tape here, There's one screw, and that one's a little harder to get out, so I usually use a little bit bigger head on the screwdriver. Okay, it lifts up and pulls straight out. Now, all that's left is to remove one screw right here. Now lift your hard drive and gently pull out, and there you have your hard drive. So then just take out these two screws and replace it on the new hard drive. We'll then pop it back in, replace this screw. And then carefully put the wireless card back in. Make sure you don't bend any of these. Usually you won't, but you never know. And screw down this screw. Which is stuck to the tape. So once you're going to stick it from the tape, screw this screw down. Make sure it's stuck back on there. And then you take your case. And I like to start with the side with the VGA and audio and USB ports. Slide it over it. And then snap it back into place. Make sure you those are aligned right with the USB ports on that side. Everything should snap back together exactly how it was. So then, you know, replace all of your screws. Stick the battery back in. And there you go. You have replaced the hard drive in one of these little MSI notebooks. Thanks for watching.